Hey everyone, Marriott Martinez here, and you're about to watch an interview with myself and Isabel Talens, a content and marketing strategist that has now come into the Master Your Books community as a guest expert so she can teach us how to go ahead and create content that speaks directly to our communities, our customers, and truly grows our audiences intentionally so we can bring in those leads that really want to connect with us, learn from us, buy from us, and eventually convert those leads into sales because we need to create content strategies that are profitable strategies. That's what it means to create a strategy as an entrepreneur. So Isabel is going to break that down here in our interview, which is going to come next. Now, this is an interview that I did right before I was going to do a workshop with Isabel as I bring her in to meet my community and also introduce my community to the content she has, the strategies and the framework that she has created herself and that she's willing to share, and more importantly, how we can continue to work alongside Isabel. Now, if you watch this interview after the workshop went live and after the workshop was closed, it's okay because now you get to meet Isabel. And every time we bring her back into our community, you'll know what it's going to be and what the experience is going to feel like when Isabel becomes part of our community. So enjoy this interview with Isabel Talent. And if you see this before November 9th, 2023, we will see you in our workshop so we can all be transformed on our content strategies. See you then and enjoy this interview. Bye for now. So Isabel, we just got off a little chit chat before we yes. went live to talk about what we're excited to share with our community. So I want to, number one, before we go any further, yes. introduce Isabel Pallet. <laughs> I'm sharing a lot about her, but I want her to share about her because yes. she always hear me share about her. So Isabel, let's just start with just, a, you know, meet my community. Come in and say hi. Say hi. <laughs> I'm Isabel. I am actually believe profoundly that content is really the best way to show your, your zone of genius. So I really, my purpose, my mission is to be able to help people with, you know, small business owners, online entrepreneurs, content creators, but, you know, generally speaking, entrepreneurs to grow audiences and create lead generation engines with profitable content. That's literally what I do for a living. And I love that because I believe is the best way to grow without burnout, to live the life you love. So that's kind of me in a nutshell. I will say that um, if I had to really summarize me uh, really quickly, I'm a content specialist and a Pinterest expert. So that's what I do for a living. I, I, love, I love content as a way of growing your leads. That is, I leadify, you know, your content to be able oh my to God, you leadify our that. content. I love that. Yes. So here, I want to go a little deep, though, because we go deep at Master Books. Yes. So why? Why do you love that? Why do you love teaching about, you know, content for us to grow our audience? Why do you think that's important? So here's the thing. I think that if we if we go back in time, you know, as as business owners, back in time we used to, you know, if one people wanted to come to our business, it was a matter of word to mouth. It was a matter of ads, you know, ads in newspapers, in you know, in mm -hmm. magazines, etc. Just forward a bit later, and then it was oh, you need a website, you know, it was a if you if you need to attract people, you need to be on the net. And now it's kind of oh, maybe you need to have a an ability to let your your clients buy online directly from you. Whether you have an online shop, a booking system online, but you know what? Actually, in today's world, people expect more because all of that has become completely kind of common ground you know you need to have your website you need to be able to do your bookings online and all of those things and what happens is if you don't have the presence through your content online you know many of your ideal leads actually feel that you don't exist I know it's shocking but it's yeah. the reality and therefore the my my huge view is that as business owners we are no content creators. And as we are faced with that need to attract our leads through content when 
we are on content creator. So how can we, and we haven't got time. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. this is the two kind of big tension points, time and ability to do something that doesn't really is in our genes by default. You know, we've got our yeah. zone genius, like, you know, like your people, your community, you know, they, they love the ability of, you know, bring that element of finance to the clients, yeah, of exactly. accounting to the clients, or strategy through, you know, business planning to the clients. Right. But they are no content creators. So the reality is that today, you need to embrace that world. And I am all about making it easy so that A, you don't fall into having to pay for ads for it to be seen. And B, you really don't burn out with a kind of having to do to do it on social media every day because frankly, we've got a, we need to have a life. <laughs> so when Isabel, I'll tell you, burnout is a really big deal right now. And um I, I have a few friends here on the live video as well, and we talk you know, much deeper about, our, you know, how we're trying to, like you said, do all the things. And, yeah. and burnout is like, a, we I like to refer to it, it's silent suffering. We're like silently suffering through this entrepreneurial journey because we don't have the focus, because we don't feel like we have the direction or because we don't believe we're creators. And that's something, Isabel, that I love Mm -hmm. um, that you are going to bring to our community because I am shifting our language. I'm reframing our thinking as, you know, what is typically a linear accounting, bookkeeping and tax practitioners mindset is mm -hmm. I'm linear. I'm only left brain, but it's like, heck no, you are left. You are right. You are all heart. Like you're a creator. You wouldn't be in this business if you didn't want to create a better life for yourself, for your customers, for your clients, mostly we gave, we, we decided to be accounting professionals to help people. That's a heart reason. That's like a heart. Yes. That's a heart. That's all right. It's, brain. And exactly. so I want them to understand, of course, they're creators. But like you mentioned, it's like we're going through that very kind of typical trajectory of there was an ad and now it's a website and now it's content. And it's like, let's just break that all out and just be like, Let's just go to the core, which I believe what you said, at least what I heard you say is content is a core essential part of you going deep and spreading yeah. your message. Go deep exactly. and spread your message, right? Correct. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's part of um, the connection that yes. our clients, our leads today expect is a conversation so we see more content like, you know, bombarding with videos and stuff and hacks and so on. But when you go deep, if you embrace creating and you embrace content creation as a way of establishing a conversation with your ideal clients, that's where you actually completely transform the ability to really do something that is yeah. completely natural. And instead of being really, really false and a copycat of others, it becomes you and your brand and your, you know, your uniqueness. And it becomes totally magnetic. And it makes you actually completely yeah. stand out from others. Yes. So I I totally love the I idea. love embracing content creation. Like it's like again, it's like embracing that real deep you that sometimes you don't see it or you don't believe it but we you and I both know you can't be an exactly. entrepreneur without being a visionary and a creator exactly. right so exactly. it is in there and you're going to help us go deep into it so here's what I want to ask I had a few questions I want to make sure we cover because we do want to get people excited about next week's yes. free workshop which again it's hard to even say it's free because it's kind of unbelievable <laughs> but we have a free workshop next Thursday November 9th happening and I want to first go straight to the core, like the source. You are the source, Isabel. So who are you creating for? Who is this designed for? Who is this experience really designed for when you were thinking about bringing this to my community? So this is absolutely designed at the core for people that want to have that presence online, mm. but do not feel that a, you know, what we say, you know, bleh, content, this is not, I'm not sure this is for me. Or, you know, you've, you know, you've tried doing something, creating stuff, whether it's on social media, wherever it is, and then it hasn't really catch up for whatever reason. 
or you try and it's difficult to really get into a habit into that I'm not going to call consistency because next week is not about social media is not about consistency but making it part of your business operations that's what I'm going mm, to say yes I love that. that is intrinsic to your strategy because you see how it actually changes your bottom line so I am absolutely to next week is all about embracing the fact that content brings lead and profit is not just for the sake of having followers in whatever platform you want or just feeling super excited about double taps of likes this is purely for business owners that. that want to impact the bottom line so that is what who that. that is for and absolutely if you have never gone any near content and any platforms that is absolutely for you too so don't feel that you need to come with any kind of experience any kind of having done anything or if you have done it with any kind of results this is absolutely open up for anyone that wants to embrace the world in the one we are today which is we know ai is around us And the thing that's going to make us stand out is all about how we show our uniqueness and content is such a great way to do it. Yes. And you know, you know what I love about that um, is the fact that it's very fundamental. And if, if uh, Isabel, you know this about me and obviously my community knows at this point, hopefully they don't, if not, I have a content strategy issue, <laughs> but I have decided to go hyper-focused on fundamentals. I really want people to understand how essential, you know, core essential business topics, business literacy, fundamentals around finances or business. These are steps that so many of us skip, right? Or like you say, there's so much noise, you know, who are we supposed to learn these first essentials or fundamentals from? When I asked you, you know, and I am so humbled, Isabel, let me just tell you now and over and over again, I was so humbled when you said yes. When I asked you, I want you to just bring the core, the essence of why content strategy is important. I don't want you to give social media strategies or so many of them. I don't want you to talk, like you said, about likes and followers and all that. No, I want you to get to the core of why this will make a difference on your bottom line, because we're both business owners, right, Isabel? Like exactly. We, we want this to grow our audience, we want to exactly. convert leads to sales. I mean, that is exactly. the formula, right? Exactly. That's a profitable formula. And I wanted you to bring us back to those fundamentals in this workshop, because it's it's what so many of us get, or it's where we're confused because of the noise. So yes. thank you. Thank you for, for, for covering the core. Now, because you said that, you just brought up another question. Uh -huh. Yes, we keep on referring to creative or creator. Mm -hmm. And here is my big pushback that I get from so many people, especially mm -hmm. in the amazing, you know, uh, kind of linear accounting industry um, field and, and community. You know, again, creative and creator, even being a creative accountant is considered, you know, a little bit like oh, yeah, yeah. not appropriate, <laughs> yeah. right? We don't really want to no -no. <laughs> Yeah. So if we're not identifying with that word creator or creative, mm -hmm. why do we need to understand, though, that that we still need a content creative strategy or a content strategy? Like, why do we need that, even though sometimes the word creative or creator, we pull back from that word? I And I love that actually you you highlight that because I and this was also me not that long ago, you know. I did not consider myself creative enough mm. not that long ago. And that can actually completely, from a mindset perspective, stop you from really trying any of this. Yeah. So this is why many times I don't refer to creative because then suddenly we don't recognize each other. We think, ah, I really literally, this is me having ideas, no way. And actually, it goes so far more beyond that. You know, it's not about being a Picasso. It's not about being, you know, a Hemingway, if you want. It's literally to be able to express, express your, your genius of what you do for a living, you know? 
to people that are really interested in knowing more about you and knowing more about what you offer. That's not just your services, but also your your skills, your ability, what makes you really do something that achieves what your clients want. So mm. it's let's forget the Picassos of this world. This is not yeah. for the Picassos of this world because <laughs> otherwise we all put ourselves outside that box. We That's all so think that we need to be exceptional yeah. to do content creation. So yes, you know, we can all embrace the, you know, the concept that we are going to become creatives, but I'm with you, especially in the world of finances, yes. which actually was, I, I have not been an accountant before, but I have absolutely worked very closely with finance yes. and CFOs and so on. Creative is not the world that actually yeah. went to you. <laughs> Well, you know, our friend Matthew on the chat, he says the creative side helps us connect to our future clients. You just said exactly. that, right? It's just being more clear on what you want them to know about you and how exactly. you're going to impact them. Like, it's like, if you think about it like that, we take out the word creative. It's just like you being more clear on how you want to connect with your current and future clients and having them understand how you are going to help them. That's it. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Because in the world we live in, it's very different to the world that we were living, I'm going to say 20 years ago, which yeah. looks like a very long time scale, but even 10, 10 years 10 ago. 10 years ago, where, yeah. You know, 10 years ago where people didn't have that many choices, you know. People yeah. were going from, you know, what they could find locally or what someone will actually recommend to them thing is today when we want to make decisions, we actually do our own searches in, in a few clicks. Mm -hmm. And if, if in a few clicks you are not able to really show that, you know, that zone of genius that your business has, you're not, you're not there. You're not there. And people are not wow. just expecting to find you like they used to find you in a directory of business, you know, a yeah. business directory. They expect to know deeper, to understand you from more of a, you know, what your business stands for. People are making decisions not just based on prices, but on how they resonate with your business. You know, what kind of values, what mission you have, who do you work with, you know. All of those kind of elements that actually are, are not what you will necessarily just only have on a website, but that comes through common naturally. And if the conversation is the connection. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I love that. Matthew says, allow your personality to shine through when people search you online. Absolutely. Exactly. I love that. Allow yourself to shine when they're searching for exactly. you online. Matthew, that's like a great little slogan right there, by the way. Love it. <laughs> love totally. it so much because it's so true. A dear friend of mine, Misty Mejia, who is also a marketing and brand strategist, has helped me a lot tremendously over the several years. We did a session, a live session in front of, of course, many accountants, which is usually the case. And we talked about the seven second, uh, like the seven second pitch, because they mm -hmm. say that you, people will literally, because of all the noise, they'll only give you seven seconds of their attention before they move on. Which if you yeah. think about that, like seven seconds before they swipe left or right or up or down or switch you off. So like you just said, like how do we, and obviously it's it's work that you do. You don't just create copy or create content that's gonna capture attention in seven seconds. It's work to get there. But if you know these kind of things, if you know that you want to really clarify your message and share it in seven seconds, or let's give you a little break, 30 seconds, okay? So if you <laughs> know that already, then you know how important it is to, to allow yourself to wear that creative hat, right? Without being a Picasso, we don't have to put that pressure, but allow yourself and give yourself the credit. Like I do have that in me and I should yeah. show up and learn about these techniques because it's important if I want to yeah. be a profitable business. Like ultimately, exactly. we, we should want to be profitable businesses. That's okay. Exactly. Right? Absolutely. And yeah. it doesn't necessarily need to be complicated. Mm, I know that I when that. we go into new areas, it actually feels that because we don't literally have a clue how to approach them, it feels like a big mountain in front of us, something yeah. quite, you know, um, 
can put you off and you don't know how to break it into, you know, manageable ways to do it with ease. And next week is all about understanding all of the myths that actually you need to ditch, ditch completely because there is so much noise about hacks and stuff that actually just are so confusing and doesn't really bring you into creating profitable content. So that's why, you know, next week that's going to be our hashtag, ditch the myth. (laughs) Yes, because we got we do exactly. the myths are what keep us stuck too, right? Well, I exactly. heard say you know he said or she said or and it's like no 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 like uh, and and I I'm again I'm gonna go and just state I'm really grateful that I I personally wanted to bring somebody in that I feel like Isabel is gonna bring the real deal and for us at least for my community it's so important for you all to be able to at least have once or twice a year. To hear from someone that really knows this stuff, that's been doing this stuff, that's gone through her own challenges, right? And to keep it simple, because that way, if we keep it simple, then we can keep it actionable. And that's what I want to close our session with here today, Isabel. Uh-huh. And you know this about me, right? You know this about me, and you know this about my my community and what I promise to my community every time. doesn't matter if I do it or if I bring amazing humans like you. I want them to be able to take action. So- yes. How do you believe with them spending, you know, those couple of hours with us live on November 9th, we want you to be there live. Isabel and I both are ambassadors and advocates of yes. live. If you can, I know you can't always show up live, but the experience is transformational if you show up live. So they show up live. They spend time with us. They engage in the chat. How do you believe they're going to be able to take action after our session? So absolutely. First of all, you know, the life element. First, we live here because we yes. love to be live. You know, there is yes. something about the live that is not comparable to anything. That's so terrible. the one thing that you will be able to do when you actually just join us live is just ask me any questions. And frankly, when I mean any questions, I do mean any questions. There are no silly questions. There are nothing that cannot be asked because I know how it feels sometimes. I always say, my workshops are always a jargon-free environment, you know? Mm. So just come in knowing that you're not going to be lost into something where I'm going to go into work and strategy stuff that you think, what is she talking about? But especially, especially what I want you to be able to walk away from the workshop mm. is two things. One is the clarity of the stuff that is time wasters. Mm. because once you have that clarity, then you will be able to put aside all of that. And to be honest, we are bombarded so much with stuff that is time wasters in terms of getting results and profitable results from content that just having that clarity will help you enormously. The second thing is you are going to have a framework that will enable you to never run out of ideas. I know Mm. that, you know, when you don't feel that content is the thing you've ever done or that you have done, but you were struggling with it or you haven't seen results, we all doubt ourselves with our ability to have the right ideas to attract our people. So you're going to have a framework out of that that workshop that will absolutely keep you going for as long as you want in terms of ideas and being able to use it, not just to attract people to to your business, but to really convert them, yeah? Yeah, What is the difference between content for content's sake, which I find it always a waste of time, completely waste of time, because there can be a lot of things. That's why I say you know, when we started, I'm not going to be talking about consistency because being consistent for content, you know, for content and not doing the right things burns you out, yeah? Mm -hmm. Makes you waste a lot of time and doesn't get you the leads you want. So what you want is to be able to get you into your zone of ease to be able to create that, that conversation with your ideal leads that actually moves them very naturally. Is not a salesy pitch. Is not just 
tips for tips sake is really getting into the heartbeat of your audience and exactly the framework that will allow you to do that. So that actually then you will walk away with very easy actions that you can put into place to really start the first steps on that. Oh, I love that. And I am, I mean, I'm obsessed with frameworks because <laughs> I just believe <laughs> and, you know, and I'm obsessed with them because of the fact that many times we'll attend and spend time, our value and our time at these events. But it's like, I get that you don't want to show the how or you don't want to show your framework. But regardless, if let's say someone decides to work with you, because you're also going to share how people can continue is yes. the magic together, which I'm really excited about. I'm a big believer that I always want my community guests yeah. and members come in and be able to share how we can continue working with you. But what I love about what you said is that you're still going to provide a framework that they can take and take action on. And that is key because I do feel that there are people that, you know, claim they're going to share something with you, but you're like, yeah, it was just a bunch of hype. You didn't really share with me how to do any of it. And that's why I appreciate you, Isabel. And you even told me beforehand, I am going to share my framework. And I appreciate that because then people choose, okay, if you feel like you can do this on your own, you have enough. If you yes. want to continue and like continue to create magic to that together, you can do that as well. Absolutely. And I love that. I really appreciate that by you and pretty much every one of my community guests that come in, they're always very open because they want you to be able to take action. Like you yeah. want to take action, right? I, exactly. I remember, you know, when we were talking about this, this event next, next week, I was saying literally Mariette, I have so much to that it's so valuable to share, to, to really get that clarity and take action. But I cannot squeeze this into a one hour. And yeah. that's what we decided. It was going to be a two hours because I know we can go on on Q&As that have so much value because yeah. that Q&A just gets you unstuck on that thing that you know has been holding you back or that little kind of question. You, need, you needed someone to answer from yeah. a point of authenticity and, you know, and genuine answers, not a Google type of answer. And at the same time, oh my God, oh my God, oh no, I really, really, this, my stuff is not high level, is big picture, but yeah. then very clear giving you the ways to actually make it happen. I absolutely, you know, and I don't want, I always say, I don't want the elephant in the room. I will absolutely introduce, you know, ways to keep on working with me at the end. Mm -hmm. But hey, this is far from being a sales pitch. That yes. is my promise. Yes, thank you. And yes, I appreciate that. And I think by now, most of my community members know that that that's not how I roll. I mean, we have enough of those that we attend already. Yeah, <laughs> right? yeah. Yeah, this is about creating transformation. This is about creating an experience where people will leave with an opportunity to take action or an opportunity to take more action either with exactly. us or on their own, right? So I love exactly. that. Okay, so Isabel, my, yeah, my objective is to create inspiration next week. Yes. And not just inspiration, but actionable inspiration. So that is the whole purpose of next week, creating oh that God, kind I of that. embracing content for profitable results without burnout embracing content with profitable results. I don't think I can end any better than that. that was <laughs> embracing content with profitable results. That's what we're going to be covering. But let me actually end with what it really is called. So you all know, because I'll be posting the link here in this video, the power of content to grow your leads without burnout or expensive ads presented exactly. by our darling Isabel. Now you know her personally, because that was what I wanted you all to get to know Isabel. You hear me talking about how much I adore her, how her energy just kind of flows. I even say like the purple background. I just feel like it's like I'm in this aura <laughs> of just like amazingness. Now you know what I mean. Now y'all know what I mean. <laughs> So thank you, Isabel. We will see everyone next week on Thursday at 10 Live. If not, just to close out, Isabel, if they just register but are not able to attend live, will we be able to provide them something to watch later? Yes, there will be a replay for a few days. Absolutely. You know, life is complicated. I understand. And to be honest, we have, you know, we have people that can really join us from all of the corners of the world. So it will be completely and totally unfair. 
to not have a replay. I am not that type of presenter. So there will be a replay for a few days. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. All right, Isabel. Thank you, everyone. And we'll see you guys next Thursday. Bye for now. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.